Hello everyone and welcome to the For the Craft channel. In this video I will demonstrate how I have created a night lamp showing a volcano eruption threatening a city. Recently I made a poll and uh, asked you whether you would like uh, my videos to have subtitles or whether you would like to have uh, voiceover. Uh, the majority of you not a huge majority, but uh, the biggest percentage, I think it was around 55% uh, of you, replied that you would like uh, my videos to have a voiceover. So here I am, speaking on the microphone, trying to explain what I'm doing. I hope that you will enjoy this. After I 3D printed the buildings, I started making the volcano with polymer clay. At this stage, before I baked the clay, I put the various buildings in place because I wanted to see how the city would look like and also how to make the streets between the buildings. Then when I had a, an idea of the environment, I started painting with acrylic colors. I have used PVA glue and grass powder to start creating the grass surface and also I have used a bigger portion of uh, grass powder and PVA glue to create the tops of the trees. I wanted this to look like it was a forest. At this point I thought that it would be nicer if I created a small lake near the mountain. So I have removed some of the grass powder with a swab dipped in water and then created a small lake with UV resin. In order to create the water texture effect, I have applied an acrylic uh, water texture gel and then continued to create uh, more details with the grass, uh, the trees, uh, some bushes and all these little things that uh, make the landscape uh, look alive. For the illumination I have used uh, small LED lights, battery operated. These lights are powered by two watch batteries. And try to put the wires in such a, a place uh, so that uh, they could look like uh, flaming uh, rocks coming from the volcano. That was the idea in any case. I had to find a way to hide the wires, of course. So I have used the cotton with UV resin in order to create the smoke trails of the flaming rocks. Cotton is a very good material to recreate smoke and uh, of course it was a very good choice uh, for hiding the wires. In order to create the lava flow trails I used the UV resin with the yellow and red uh, color. And 
then created the lava inside the volcano with uh, red and yellow resin. This resin, when cured, would help also to seal the volcano for the bigger resin pouring afterwards. Then I started making the volcanic ash cloud from cotton and UV resin. I started slowly, slowly building up the cloud from the bottom by adding small cotton balls and gluing them together with UV resin, trying to create a cloudy shape. Of course, I didn't want any air bubbles to come out from the cloud made by cotton. So I first dipped the cotton in resin and then let it cure in order to seal any air inside the cotton. Whilst the cotton cloud was curing, I painted the various buildings with acrylic colors and then I secured the buildings in their place with epoxy clay or super glue. When I was painting the smoke trails, I realized that I wanted to make the LED lights to look more like rocks. So I used UV resin again, I tried to give it a, a rocky texture, and when it was hard and cured, I cut it in small pieces, which I then glued on the LED lights to give them this rocky effect. After I have secured the cloud in place, it was time for the big resin pouring. After 72 hours, the resin has fully cured and it was hard enough for uh, sanding and polishing. The final stage of this project was to create a wooden base. The wooden base is used not only for supporting the lamp, but also for hiding the battery case and the wires. So, after I connected uh, the wires with the batteries and varnished the wooden base, it was finished.
So this is the final result. I hope that you like it. If you like it, if you don't like it, if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. I love to hear from all of you. If you are new to this channel, please uh, subscribe and push the notification button so that you will get a notification when a new video is published. More videos are going to be published soon. I would like to thank Anycubic for their amazing 3D printers and for sponsoring this video, please uh, check their website in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for your support, take care of yourselves and see you again soon. Until next time, all the best. Bye everyone.